just wanted to uh, show you uh, some repository I uh, created uh, well, actually last week and uh, to play around with our POC uh, uh, with local installation of Kima cluster on a K3S cluster. So uh, this is simple repository that uh, actually contains uh, one script, one chart, and so the essential script is Kima K3D SH. Disclaimer, it works right now only on Mac OS, uh, so it's uh, not supported uh, in, by other uh, platforms, uh, on other platforms, uh, but this is just experimental. But uh, I encourage you to play around with that and uh, uh, give some feedback, and uh, we are uh, still working on that, and uh, we will uh, add uh, other features here. But uh, what it does, yeah. So, uh, so uh, in short, uh, uh, you need uh, kubectl, Helm three, and K3D. K3D is the uh, uh, the Docker uh, wrapper around K3S cluster. K3S is uh, uh, analogy to K8S, so it's uh, Kubernetes but uh, five letters less. Uh, so uh, it's uh, just uh, slim down uh, Kubernetes, which offers on the essential uh, uh, APIs. So all the deprecated stuff is removed. Uh, some uh, some components are replaced by a more lightweight, for example. Uh, for example, ETCD is replaced by uh, uh, SQL Lite uh, and other things. So it's really, um, yeah, a uh, fast thing. And uh, uh, what you, how you can do that? Uh, you can run just Kima uh, K3D SH uh, command uh, in your uh, uh, in your uh, in this repository, and it starts uh, this K3S cluster and installs uh, Kima components. Uh, you have here on the screen the uh, quick version of that, so uh, you do not uh, wait. Uh, all the time uh, that uh, what is doing. Uh, the uh, installer is installing Istio first, then all other components are running in parallel. 21 charts uh, uh, that are included uh, in this installer are, are installed in parallel. You can see here on that flow that is uh, taking some time. So it's about two minutes and a half on my MacBook to install uh, um, Istio and, um, uh, uh, and uh, K3S cluster and another two and a half minutes uh, actually to get all other components running. Uh, I will not uh, show you uh, live it. Uh, at the end, you get the URL and password to the Kima console. And you see on that uh, on that uh, case, it, it took uh, about uh, five minutes. Uh, uh, I did it uh, just before uh, my presentation uh, today, so I will switch to uh, to my to my uh, uh, console, and uh, you see that I start started that just 15 minutes uh, before uh, uh, this call to not waste your time. I will find the beginning. Yeah, so this is uh, this Kima K3D cluster, and uh, you see uh, uh, all this installation uh, on my machine. Actually, it uh, took uh, to take to get this to almost three minutes, and then entire installation i will scroll down uh, to to the bottom it took six minutes and 30 seconds because i was uh, in other conference call and zoom took some of the power of my uh, cpu so uh, it, without that it, it takes a little bit less uh, what you get yeah so what you get is uh, uh, the url to console local kima pro and uh, uh, if you go to that url uh, i i will go there uh, if you go to that URL and you provide the password that is listed here, uh, you will get uh, just uh, oh, this means uh, you will get the access to the cluster, and it's running in your local machine in Docker. Uh, uh, you see uh, uh, additional namespace with Cert Manager, so this installation also is issuing certificates. You see, I have trusted certificate uh, here, so the, the lock is closed. Uh, it's okay, and I can uh, uh, play around with, uh, for for example, uh, serverless functions. So let me create one uh, to prove that yeah, this stuff works really. Create function. Uh, second hand function that's bad but yeah uh, the function is building uh, uh, let's uh, wait a few seconds more and in that uh, time i will show you that uh, my docker uh, is configured and right now build of function is executed so uh, for cpu uh, for cpu is consumed but then uh, you can see the memory consumption on, on of entire 
Kima cluster is about uh, four uh, gigabytes and for CPU in, uh, in the load. Uh, uh, when the building is finished, uh, the load should uh, come down uh, and uh, we, I should have about uh, 100 CPU uh, uh, consumed. Uh, let me show you the resources. So uh, uh, I assign four CPU and a gigabyte for, for Docker uh, to, uh, to run that, uh, that thing. And uh, yeah, I think that the build is uh, uh, finished and uh, also it's deployed. I can uh, directly go uh, to API rules and expose the, that service, second hand, uh, whatever, test, test, uh, create. And if I run test, uh, not yet. Yeah, hello world is already here. Uh, so you see, uh, I added new, uh, I exposed that uh, test uh, uh, in secure way. I didn't uh, change anything in my ETC hosts. Uh, uh, it's also covered by this um, uh, uh, local installation. So uh, you do not need to take care uh, of, uh, of anything inside uh, your, uh, yeah, change any, anything except adding this uh, certificate to your uh, uh, trusted uh, keychain. Uh, the script is, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe uh, uh, I will show you uh, uh, what it does. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, yeah, uh, setting a couple of uh, uh, environment variables. You have local Kima Pro, which is the the uh, the domain. And this local Kima Pro points to uh, 127.001, so it's local host. and. Uh, uh, your cluster actually is running on the local host. So when you create the cluster here on the on this line, you publish uh, uh, 443 port and 8080 uh, and 80 port uh, on local machine, and uh, this is the command to, to create that cluster. The cluster starts up uh, in about 10 seconds, uh, uh, so that's that's the time, uh, and then uh, it goes to create all the namespaces required by Kima, install Schema uh, uh, cluster essentials. So these are more mostly custom resources that we define, and um, and Istio. <coughs> You see these ampersand uh, signs at the end, so these uh, uh, commands are executed in the background, so we can do that in parallel. And uh, then we have one command for waiting uh, for the Istio. So Istio is installed in, it depends on the power of your machine, from two to three minutes. Uh, and then you have uh, installation of all the uh, charts we have in the resources folder of Kima. Uh, every, uh, of them in parallel, so so we have uh, 21 jobs uh, in the end that are running uh, in parallel, and uh, then I'm waiting just for these jobs to be finished before I display the console URL uh, uh, in the uh, in the uh, command line. So that's uh, uh, so average time is uh, it depends of course of, of load of your machine as assigned resources, but uh, I was able even uh, once to run it below five minutes. But uh, yeah, uh, we are aiming to uh, simplify some uh, some some components, uh, uh, have them faster. Right now, uh, or a Hydra stack and um, and uh, application connector takes uh, uh, most of the time. Uh, so this is the, the longest uh, installing components. So you can actually start already developing without waiting for them. So if you want just to have serverless, probably you can start even in three minutes from start. Yeah. So uh, uh, and yeah, uh, you can have this script. Yeah. So if you do not want to have anything uh, related to service catalog, if you are free to just yeah comment it out. And <laughs> uh, this is the way uh, how I did, for example, with Helm Broker here. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the thing and uh, yeah uh, questions maybe well, maybe we should we should establish because one of the questions from john is already uh, if we recommend this instead of using minikube i think this is still a poc mm, right as you see not, you know we have comments now but uh, it was a proof of concept to see if it works and if it maybe you can you can answer that question if this is the official way of uh, installing this locally yeah, so uh, so actually it's uh, uh, not recommended yet because this is just POC, uh, but we will continue with that. So uh, uh, as I uh, said at the beginning, we will add uh, support for that in the uh, Kima CLI. Uh, we want to do that. Uh, and uh, there is already my colleague working on that, uh, Cyan. Uh, and uh, 
we will uh, yeah have also some uh, uh, CI test for for that to to prove that the stability, and then we will also compare with times and uh, and uh, resources with Minikube, and then we uh, will pick something probably. So I expect that uh, yeah maybe Minikube will be not our main uh, way to install locally uh, in the end. But yeah, this is the early stage. That's why it's not replaced yet. Uh, yet. Uh, uh, what are the main problems making this work on Ubuntu? Uh, the main problem is nobody tried it, so I do not have Ubuntu. And uh, <laughs> if you want to try, uh, uh, feel free. Probably on Linux, I do not expect uh, too much problems. Should be rather straightforward. Uh, so uh, yeah, there is uh, no big magic in the script. Yeah, maybe there is a set, but this is uh, uh, like, uh, maybe doc, doc, Docker inspect here. Uh, so I'm uh, here uh, using local uh, um, local uh, Docker registry. So this is another thing that uh, I added uh, to this uh, uh, to this POC uh, when. I, maybe I will come back to that. Uh, so, uh, except of uh, so, this is not only Kima server, the cluster. I also have a regis Docker registry running on my local host, and this Docker registry is configured with this uh, Kubernetes cluster. And uh, this Kubernetes cluster can use uh, images from that registry. Why? Because for lo local development, I do not want to push my images to Docker Hub or to GCR, whatever. I want to push them locally and then use them directly in in my cluster. So uh, to have it yeah, uh, here. In uh, yeah, in the future, I want also to test the uh, ergap solution. So uh, the uh, the way that we can use uh, that I can have all Kima required images in this re registry. So when I start the cluster, it doesn't fetch a, a gigabyte of uh, images from the internet. Uh, it's it has it all locally. So then I expect I can also increase a little bit, uh, uh, to decrease a little bit the uh, installation time. So that's uh, that's the thing. Uh, and so, yeah, from from the Ubuntu point of view, uh, uh, maybe this uh, and Docker uh, inspect maybe will will be different. So different. Uh, Thing will be created here, but I do not know. So we need someone to uh, to try and. Uh, I have it, so, Ubuntu, so I can try it. I I, I see that uh, this uh, certificate uh, or keychain part. Ah yeah yeah, this this part definitely will not work uh, <laughs> uh, in uh, in Ubuntu. So uh, I could. Uh, but but you can find easily the command to uh, to trust the cer the certificate on Linux. But, yeah. So. I see that you have where this uh, Kima CRT is. Uh, so I guess when if I want to try to my own domain, I have to basically. Uh, if you want to try your own domain, uh, it's uh, uh, so it's, uh, so uh, why I did did that? Yeah. So uh, this local Kima pro points to one uh, one hundred. Uh, 27001, uh, uh, so local host. Yeah, uh, you can uh, uh, do that with your own domain. Uh, and uh, I added uh, something which is called Ingress uh, DNS. Uh, I will show you uh, Ingress DNS cert. So uh, uh, this is the chart where uh, where I added uh, uh, certificate requests uh, actually, and. Uh, there is a self issuer, and you I request this issuer from cert manager, and this installation is using cert manager. So uh, if you use your own domain, you can have certificate for that, and you need to just uh, add uh, Istio Ingress Gateway to your DNS, and that's that's it. Yeah, so you can also use that in this way. Mm. So you are free to, uh, to 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 change it. Yeah. So I provided that this local Kima Pro that already points to some uh, to your local host. So uh, you can have this wildcard uh, uh, mm -hmm. DNS. Uh, so then you do not need to um, modify etc hosts. That that's the only the only thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, the cert manager is also here. So if you want, you can uh, change issuer to uh, Let's Encrypt, and you can have even signed certificate uh, if with your own domain uh, if you want. Yeah. So. Cool. But yeah, this is not uh, covered yet by by this. So on K3s, I uh, focused mainly on the local development. So that's that's the thing. Any other question? 
do we see any improvements in the in the you know running on your machine? We saw Powell's and Pavels, you know, struggling running the, the instance on their on their computer. So yeah, installation is faster. But what about uh, after installation? While it runs, does it have any uh, like positive? Yeah. So yeah. So uh, I can show the the hyper kit uh, uh, when you do something is about one hundred percent to four hundred percent of CPU. Uh, it depends. Uh, sometimes it, it's doing something. Uh, I'm still investigating what's uh, happening. Uh, so which uh, component in idle uh, state uh, is generating some load. Uh, I've seen that we have some uh, 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 certificates, changes, refreshing, whatever jobs. Uh, I'm just hunting down this, these jobs that are uh, causing some, uh, some load. But uh, you can see that uh, already from the dashboard that uh, uh, and that uh, not this one. This one is real <laughs> nice, uh, and that it's uh, uh, four uh, gigabyte uh, and uh, yeah, about one CPU. And I'm still able to do something on that computer. I I am able to uh, join a Zoom meeting and uh, yeah, and build even some Lambda. Uh, so it's not so bad. Uh, and uh, yeah, my uh, fun uh, uh, of, of 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 my my book is not working on the highest uh, uh, yeah uh, spin uh, yet. How many so. ports do you have now on your MacBook? So how many like CPUs uh, you have? Uh, so it's it's eight CPU yeah. So it's uh, it's my MacBook uh, yeah. It's on two years old MacBook um, Pro yeah. So. Oh, looks promising. Uh, we already seen your notification that you have a new meeting in two minutes, so, and we are getting close to to the end of the of the uh, meetup.